Grand Rising on this Sunday. I trust that all is well. We're in the early rising in this current moment. And everything is just still and quiet. Just that stillness, that peace, that calmness. Usually I Doing some uh, body, you know, stretches and exercises and affirmations and invocations, and, you know, maybe in the kitchen preparing something. Ah, you know, so. It just all depends on what I feel and how I feel. So, I feel at this moment like sipping on me some Don Koi tea with red dates. And Coming one with to the throw cards and seeing what messages may come out today. I've already shuffled, cleansed them, and I can't wait to see what messages come out. And I'll just take it from there. Self-love is the first love. And that's how you manifest your divine love. If you're seeking love outside of yourself, then you have that backwards. Okay? Invert that. I know that it could be a scary thing to go with them and deal with you and your entities, the entities that, is, that are inside you. But it's a must that you do that because you'll start attracting, you will attract those unhealed things that are within you. So then you have this cycle of, um, of behaviors and dramas and traumas and toxicity that is just a waste of your time and energy. And most of the time, most people in that type of cycle, they haven't learned from the last one. So you're not even getting what you need to get out of those experiences. You see? So yeah, don't be afraid to love yourself first. You can't love anything outside of you unless you love you first. And that's just how it, the cycle of life goes, okay? <laughs> that's just what it is, period, you know? So I think I saw that Ace of Cups trying to come out. <laughs> that would have been beautiful, huh? We're talking about love. We are currently in the airy season, okay? Aries is all about that boldness, okay? I, um, 
the Aries is about the self. Okay. Um, the head. <laughs> Aries rule the head. Okay. Uh, I'll keep it at that. But however, <laughs> this is a season to operate through your Aries energy with that boldness, that passion. Okay? Action. Creativity. Okay? And then we have a The solar eclipse coming. Okay, I think what? Uh, on the 25th of March. Okay. So, be open, be quiet, be still in order to receive. is here. The Emperor, speaking of Aries, Aries showing up is showing out, right? The Page of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. The Emperor. Okay, and this is only energy that we're speaking of, so, but the emperor usually depicts a male, the masculine energy, I should say, masculine energy, because it's only energy, and, uh, but I would like to look at, you know, the masculine energy in this right perspective, but we do know that, you know, the feminine can also utilize masculine energy. We both have masculine and feminine energy, which one just have more than the other, okay? So women, you know, have also masculine energy, but mostly we have the feminine energy. Most we have that hormone that's dealing with that is estrogen, okay? Um, and the men, they have estrogen and testosterone and feminine and masculine energy, but they mostly have testosterone and masculine energy. So we don't... That, that's just, that's nature. That's how it is. And that's how we go. We're not going to get out of order with nature. Okay? So, this emperor resembles, uh, resembles uh, power. You see, um, they have on their red. That's the root chakra for me. So that's security, that's your foundation, that's having all your basic needs met. The emperor is very creative. They're very bold with their, um, and creative with their decisions. You see these buildings behind them. That to me represents, you know, building a legacy, building an empire. Okay. And the number that it embodies is the number four. So, you know, we know it. Oh, hold on. Yeah, four. <laughs> and we know that four is dealing with foundation, you know, protection. Um, that security energy, you know, so, and then, you know, he's holding the hawk in his hand, and this is, to me, the symbolism of his empress, okay, and that trinity, 
dealing with mother, father, child. So he knows uh, the importance of that trinity. He knows the import importance of his having his empress um, to, you know, balance things out. Um, so that's how I that's how I look at that card. Okay, when I see him holding that unk. <laughs> He's honoring his empress. He's, he's honoring his um, his trio. Okay. Empress with the child. You know, that family. Okay. And that's why he do what he do. Building that legacy and a foundation for his family. Okay. You got the king of pentacles. At the bottom of the deck. The wealthiest of the core cards. Okay, so we have this page of swords now. This can mean a couple of things, you know. Um, it's often known as someone could be, you know, watching you, keeping an eye on you. Hmm? monitoring, you know, your activities. The source is dealing with the mental, the air sign. Okay. Um, and then we have the four of pentacles. The pentacles is the earth sign. And uh, so this represents just maybe um, someone holding on to something could be money, okay? Could be trying to reserve money or maybe this can represent a sign of control of some sort. Maybe someone trying to control money, control your money. Okay. Maybe someone watching you in your rise, and you rise in this emperor energy. Okay. So let's do some clarification here. Okay. Clarify the emperor. Who is this emperor? And what is it that you would like for us to know, Divine the Most High, about this emperor? The star at the bottom of the deck. Take a seat. This page of cups keeps glowing at the bottom of the deck. The tower, okay. Clarify this emperor. Let's just do that first. Okay, let's see. The Knight of Wands. So, someone seems to be, and we have the, these wands again, fire energy, and <clears throat> the energy that I'm feeling from this is someone is aggressively coming towards this emperor. Maybe in a defensive matter. Maybe. I'm seeing a tower here. So this is something abrupt. Um, an abrupt change of some kind. 
So we'll keep going and see what we get. I don't know. I'm not quite liking what I'm feeling right now with this energy. But let's see. Clarify the page of swords. Please clarify this page of swords. <clears throat> In the seven of swords. So the lovers Okay, so this is dealing with this is not always about, you know, um intimate relationships. This can be any kind of relationship, you know, um, on any level. This could be a, a business relationship, a family relationship, or intimate relationship. Any type of um, relationship, okay? And then the Seven of Swords, again, we're dealing with the swords, the swords, and now this is deception, this is lies. Um, thievery. So someone has engaged in some type of deceptive action against this emperor, okay? Some type of connection, some type of relationship. And they're watching and spying on this emperor, okay? They're coming towards this emperor with ill intent forcefully, aggressively. We have the magic magician at the bottom of the deck. The high priestess. Mm. Let's clarify the four of pentacles. So we have a couple of counterparts. 
uh, of comic counterpart, but not divine comic part. It's in the universe. So this is a comic, toxic, evil couple that has stolen something that is harboring something and it could be dealing with your pentacles. It could be dealing with this emperor and it's pentacles, money, material possession. So yeah, in this ten of swords, it's a lot of backstabbing, um, burdens. Okay, from all of this. But yeah, someone has taken some deliberate material possessions. This queen of swords and curses and, 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 and her demonic, this demonic queen of swords and her demonic counterpart queen of swords are both in earth. They've taken something. Okay. Magic also could have been a play at, you know, at play here. That's what we saw the magician card and the high priest card, high priestess card behind that. Okay. But yeah, this was a partnership of some kind, some type of relationship okay. between these. Or one or the other, and this emperor here. And they're coming at this emperor very aggressively because of some thievery, deception. Okay. This could be uh, a watch, them watching, spying on this emperor. Okay. Yeah, because when it does someone wrong, You can pretend to watch them to see if they find out or they know what you did. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, this is not good. This is very nasty energy. Okay. So, we're going to call for judgment and justice to be served in this matter. And that. Everything is exposed, uh, known and unknown, okay? And justice is served in this world to bring order and to bring divine justice. And that everything that has been taken from this emperor energy is restored, be replenished twofold. And that all is well, and everybody get what they do in this world. Get there to just. Okay. <laughs> shame, shame, shame. Mm -hmm. it seems I'm not supposed to come out. Okay, maybe, yeah. You are a badass being. Full of life, love, and possibilities. Through this deck, may you find a path to your best self. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on the emperor, okay? The emperor, you know, this is why they're doing this to this, 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 this emperor, which, because they 
know this gentleman is a badass king, sort of like that love. Okay. The five of pentacles, dealing with scarcity, dealing with lack, and it seems like maybe that's what they wanted to put this emperor in. Okay, by by evil, deception, lies. And then you have the star here, okay? It's a it's an angelic being right here. One with nature. Okay. You don't mess with the star. Mm -mm. There's consequences for messing with nature. Okay. And then the eight of cups. On a journey, walking away. Okay, to something new. Okay, so let's see if there's anything else that wants to come up. Let's see. The Eight of Pentacles is dealing with work. Okay, working towards It's probably these. Uh, this karmic color. Ace of Cups. It's common color. Working towards something deceptive. All that energy just is a waste. Eight of Pentacles again. You expend all your energy to try and hurt someone. I mean, you've got to be loony. Loony to me. Because what do you think you're going to get? How do you think you're just going to be able to do something like that? Harm or nothing? And this eight of pentacles just wants to come out. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, they were working very hard trying to steal your pentacles. Okay. Putting a lot of overtime, overdrive. <laughs> no wonder they see people don't hate you know, you got to be in a low, low, low space to just to be that evil, to just put work in, to harm someone else. And someone that is in their star energy, they're in their ace of cups. We saw that at the bottom of the deck. The nine of cups, okay? Loving. Okay? They're in their wish fulfillment. Manifest their life, okay, their purpose, okay, you're dealing with a badass being, so this could be out of, you know, jealousy, it could be them maybe standing up for themselves and defending themselves, you know, when people, when you stand up for yourself, and you defend yourself, you, you know, people actually become very envious and hateful of you, you know, um, I've had an experience once where um, I was illegally evicted and, you know, I was behind, um, got, you know, behind on, on the little rent and um, so to make a long story short, I went to, you know, the courthouse, um, and the attorney that was representing the apartment complex was very arrogant. It was, this was a melanated guy. Um, I'm going to say black guy, because I associate that with just with ignorance, you know, uh, energetically, you know, um. And just low vibrational. So anywho, he got upset with me because I was standing up for myself and speaking up for myself. And I remember the so-called judge saying, well, you know, she has the right to, you know, speak up for herself. And she's actually correct. So anyway, I found out. I actually, you know, ended up um, settling that judgment. But, and I was actually going through, um, a, a fast and a spiritual cleanse at this time and I had just got a new job and um, come to find out that he went and he you know filed for the, a writ, the writ to evict 
And I didn't know this. And my daughter, who I think she was 11 at the time, was home alone when they came in. So she was petrified and I had to travel like over 45 minutes to get to her. And I remember stepping on that paddle acceleration and my foot didn't let up until I was at, <laughs> you know, at my destination. I was zooming, I don't even know how, how <laughs> you know, fast I was, I was traveling, but it was fast and I, dipped and dodged in and out, weaved in and out of traffic. And um, the, the divine most definitely was with me at that moment because I didn't have to put on no brakes at all. So anyway, um, come to find out, because the manager of the, of the place ended up admitting that, and they had all my you know money orders and my checks that I wrote them to settle the matter, they gave it to me. At, they had the manager give it to me at the eviction. So they held on to it. Um, anyway, the matter was settled. And they didn't, you know, they went on and did the writ anyway. But he said that the, they did it. The attorney did it because he was mad because of what I said in court. The manager admitted this. So he knew and he was very scared and nervous. You know, when he approached me. As they were evicting me to give me these checks and money orders back. So, yeah, you know, I've experienced, and even now I experience people, you know, when you defend yourself, they want to come at you. But I'm here to tell you, don't let that, don't let that bother you because they're going to get what's due to them um, for any wrongs, okay? You have to understand, you know what I'm saying, what you put out there, you get back in return, okay? Let people be them. You have a right to stand up for yourself, okay? Even dealing with a court case, they try to have me sanctioned because I'm standing up for myself, okay? Really? It's like, come on, people. How dare you try to impose, inflict harm on another being? Because they're standing up for themselves. Right? So this is this is this is this is sick. I mean it's right here. And I mean it's telling you. <laughs> this little karmic, demonic couple right here. Mm -mm -mm. Both of them came out and divorced. Uh, reverse, like this is what it is. And this is what they're doing, period, point, and blank. Okay? But yeah, it's the maxims of law from the Bouvier Dictionary, I think it's 1856, that says justice is to be um, denied nor delayed, okay? And the execution of law brings no harm, okay? So when you executing a law, and I'm talking about the true law, Okay, I'm not talking about these statutes, policies, codes, and procedures. I'm talking about the law, divine law, natural law, the law of the land, the supreme laws of the land. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, common law. See, when you, you know, the, these states coming in, you know, capitalizing on everybody and everything, people forgot about Common law is simple as giving respect to your neighbor, okay? Okay, to the next human being, okay? Treating them, giving them reasonable care, okay? You ever heard that saying? Treat others as you want to be treated, okay? That scripture, okay? Yeah. Okay, but I always say that how people treat you 
is a reflection of themselves. So you know they broken. All right? Ten of Wands, they wanted you burdened, weighed down. Okay? So if you want this from someone else, is if this is your intentions for someone else, what do you think you're getting back in return? You don't know how the universe operates? It's inevitable. Okay? It's, it's energy. Okay? What goes around comes around. That's the karmic wheel. And right now, the energy that we in, in the cosmos, I mean, this is just what it is. Okay? We're dealing with Saturn right now. Okay, we we in the eight year right now. So what what do you, what do you, you you know what I'm saying? Okay, we are in a uh, the abuse of power right now. Then we have the eight of wands trying to show up and the page of cups. Communication, communication. Okay. So, the abuse of power has ended, okay? We are in the uh, Aquarian energy now, okay? The age of Aquarius. I think Saturn is Aquarius too. And, yeah, this is time for the humanitarian. I am that because of my life path. That's actually my life path. Okay. I.e. me being a doula. So I'm very important to this new era. Okay. This new earth. Us doulas? Yeah. Okay, bringing back natural birth. We're very important to the cause. Hmm. But you want one that has done the work on itself. You don't want no, you know, you, you, handling the babies is a very sacred position. And that ten of wands has come from. Okay. Burdens. This is how they wanted you. They worked very hard to have you in this position. And then in that Ten of Swords position. That's what they wanted. But then look at here. you still in your Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Or this was their wishes. They didn't get it fulfilled, though. Okay. And if they did... It only was temporary. It was only for your good. Okay? Everything that happens to you is for your good. Even with them. Depending on how they take it. Now they can take this energy and they can reverse it. Okay? If they choose to. I see the death card right there. Okay? Yeah. It's the death to this type of evil energy I'm just listening guess I've awakened <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> that quietness and stillness, no more. <laughs> we can do that sometimes, you know what I'm saying? When our energy comes, then everybody get to flock. However, uh, 
Yeah. So they can learn from most definitely this is supposed to be a teaching moment. You know, some people you you, you encounter, you don't know that they come to teach you something. <laughs> now, they don't have to go through some things they don't want to go through because of what they've done. Okay? Um, but it's supposed to teach them. Hopefully they learn, huh? As I hope they learn something. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Maybe they won't in this lifetime. Maybe they will in another lifetime. I don't know. <laughs> Zone now. Okay, again, you have to be accountable for your actions. But you cause harm to another living being, then honey, you gotta pay for that. Mother Nature don't play that. Ten of Swords here again. Okay, yeah. But see, this emperor is in this bold and creative and powerful st status, okay? You are a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities, okay? For you to overcome all this bull crap. Three of swords, heartbreak and portrayal, okay? King of pentacles, yeah. This, this is what they, they just, it's, it's a lot of material here. They wanted to take your material. They wanted to affect your root chakra. Okay? Root, root, root chakra. Pentacles is dealing with the earth. Mm -hmm. They wanted to take, they wanted you to suffer. They wanted you to be in that five of pentacles, be in lack. Okay? Not having security, not having your basic needs met. Why would someone ever wish that on anyone? You got to be just sick. You got to be sick. Because now, this is what you is wishing for you and your prosperity. So you see, that's just how that's going to go. You got to be sick. work on you. You know, it's safer for you to just go on and work on yourself <laughs> and deal with what you have to deal with because whew, when I tell you and then you messing with and then you mess with the wrong one if you want to that's highly protected. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Because see, this is a violation of uh of the law, you know, in the spiritual realm as well, as above, so below. Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. Yeah. I see the tower again right there. Mm-hmm. That's this emperor working on their Ten of Cups in this Ace of Cups energy, okay? Highly protected. This is a divine gift. This Ace of Cups, this is the ultimate fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, emotional happiness. Ten of Cups as well. Okay, there's a tower for this foolishness, for them. Okay. The tower for you is your Ten of Cups and your Ace of Cups. Okay, yeah. The Eight of Swords. This is what they wanted you in. Mental imprisonment, imprisonment. But you're not. Okay. But you're not. Anything else? Anything else you would like for us to know about this energy? The King. The King of Cups wanted to come. The Queen of Cups. Jesus. Oh, yeah, that's this emperor energy. Okay, five of wands. All oh, this fighting and conflict. Tower again. <laughs> Bringing in your ten of pentacles, your legacy. 
They were the king of pentacles. See all these pentacles? Oh my good. Ace of cups. The star. Come on now. Oh yes. My goodness. <laughs> Hangman. I'm not going to take that one since it didn't come out. So we're going to see if it's anything. Okay. Get the four of cups. Hmm. I mean, I'm sorry, the Four of Swords. The Five of Swords. <laughs> They've been defeated. They've been disarmed. Okay. We saw that Four of Swords, so Four and Five is Nine. Okay. The Nine of Swords. Uh, or the nines is dealing with completion. So, mm. so yeah, they've been disarmed. They've been defeated. It's over. Okay. Five of Wands. They still want to fight, though. <laughs> they don't want to let up. Hard knocks. Just hard headed. You know what I'm saying? Well, they fighting with themselves though. I mean, you know, they not fighting with this emperor. You know, how you fighting <laughs> with somebody that ain't fighting with you back? Now how the hell you gonna do that? It's ridiculous. Oof. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, it's just Ten of Swords, but it says everything is fine, this one. <laughs> because everything is fine. Yes, it is. For this emperor. <laughs> the magician. Okay. The metallurgist. The emperor transmuted that shit. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to get his wish fulfillment. There is the magician again, okay? To get its wish fulfillment, its desires. Okay, that's what that's what the emperor did. Shoot. With that creativity and that boldness. I'm gonna pull the oracle cards in a minute. The dang on the swords keep come on now. Okay, enough is enough. Everything is most definitely fine. Okay. What, what was that that came out? <clears throat> the Queen of Cups. Mm -hmm. That's the Emperor. Loving. Emotionally intelligent. The Magician again. Okay. The Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Loving. Emotionally grounded. Stable. A page of Wands. That could be dealing with some form of communication. Okay. Then a Knight of Cups at the bottom. Magician. Mm, there most definitely has been some uh, spell work in play here. 
officially with this Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay. Maybe some beauty spells. Um, mm, who do we have here? The devil. Yeah, spell work has been done and they were invested in this. So this is several people. Okay, it's a lot of people. Who's most definitely with the seven of pentacles invested. And, um, you know, trying to affect your stability with the pentacles all over your beauty, uh, with this queen of wands, your creativity. They were most definitely trying to affect a lot of areas of your life, but mainly that uh, foundation, okay, that root in beauty. So somebody was very jealous of your beauty, okay, this devil here, okay. Yes, they were working together, a group of them, okay. Mm-hmm. And, you know, probably was um, doing spells and curses um, against your health as well. So, yeah, this is pretty, this is pretty serious <coughs> and pretty, pretty dark, pretty dark and ugly. Mm. Magician card sticking out right there. Mm-hmm. Yep. And they were just obsessed with doing this to you, okay? Remember this Eight of Pentacles here. They were very obsessed with doing this to this to this uh, emperor, this Queen of Cups. And then we have the King of Wands here, okay? Mm-hmm. Full of passion and creativity. Very bold. Mm -hmm. They didn't like that. They wanted to siphon this emperor's energy, right? people here. Five of Wands again. Bottom of the deck. We have the King of Cups and Knight of Swords. It didn't fall out so I'm not going to put it on the uh, table here but I will most definitely acknowledge it. Okay. So we have this King of Cups and Queen of Cups here. This Knight of Swords charging at this King of Cups. I'm looking at the eyes of the horse here. He's very anxious. The eyes of the horse seem angry. So, this could be a divine counterpart. That's mirroring each other. So your divine counterpart is probably experiencing these attacks as well. This conflict here. And look at what's behind that. Look at who behind it, all that confusion again. Always, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, look at that on there. Yeah, so spell work has most definitely been done. Evil, dark spell work. Okay. Misuse of your powers. But look at here. But the divine. Okay. This was all about your pentacles. But look at this huge pentacle that the divine has for you. 
오케이. 음. Told you what they took. You was going to get returned back to you tenfold. I said that in the beginning. Here it is, right here. This is infinite abundance, divine abundance. This was always here for you. Okay. Yeah, you here in this head space, expanding, expansion. New territory. Mm -hmm. The sun. Okay. A warm and healing energy right there. Light. Happiness. Victory. For those beautiful sunflowers. Salute you. Wow. Yeah, this is you. Happy. And then this is them. Confused. Don't know what. What happened? What happened? <laughs> what happened? What happened is <laughs> the universe that then the divine stepped in. Okay? Source. You can't get away with this type of stuff. You didn't see it coming? They were blindsided? Really? I mean, how stupid are you? To not think you have to pay for such evil, you know, acts, violating spiritual law. I mean, come on now. You got to be out your mind if you think that that's okay. So, from here, I'm going to go ahead and pull some oracle cards. Let's see. Is there anything else you would like to share with us before I get down the toe? Anything else? The Ten of Cups, the Empress, okay? There is his divine counterpart right there. And together, they have the, their Ten of Cups. Ultimate fulfillment and happiness and stability. Okay? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. The Empress, there she is. Embodies all the clues in the deck. Sitting there abundantly. <laughs> Tower. The tower. Yes, the tower. Because you just did too much for too long. And now it's all coming down in your crown. See that crown? You thought you had the power and was able to do all this and, you, and it was okay? Because you were some type of ego, pseudo power, abusing your power. Abusive power, I said. Is no more. It's dead. Okay? It has been destroyed and replaced with love. Love for humanity. And if you don't have love for humanity, this is what you get. No, let's go to the old <sighs> Level up. That's what the emperor did. Leveled up. <laughs> Queen, yay. I saw T.Y. Mm -hmm. it's tough, but let's see what comes up. my shape. What message does the oracle? Oh, fearless love. Unconditional love. Okay, you saw all the love, the cups and everything. Okay, and then the divine counterparts were cups. The queen and king of cups. Okay, unconditional love right here. Because first they 
started with self-love and the ultimate love. What messages do you have for us? What oracle messages do you have for us today? Passion. Ooh, grief. Grief. Number 11. Feeling safe at the bottom. See what the is going to come up. Fails. Justice. My art. He used to tie. Giving and receiving. Okay? So they gave. <laughs> now it's time for them to receive what they gave. You gave the emperor. And now it's time for the emperor to receive what the emperor gave. It's harvest time, baby. Yes, it is. For everybody. So, what did you sow? Huh? 